What's the deal to the CMB Freight Gang? I'm back on another YouTube video and it's a banger. Cause y'all already know what we're doing today by the title, man. Y'all see the thumbnail. Hey man, we had to upgrade, man. We had to get the new charger style, boys. But man, the charger, finna get a new upgrade, you feel me? Y'all see them hoes right there, you feel me? These lights are about to get changed out. We gotta get the brand new ones in, you feel me? I'm gonna let y'all see them right there. I'm gonna unbox them and everything. I'm probably gonna unbox them inside the house because it's cold. See what's going on, man. We gotta take, we gotta do a lot because I gotta do it before it get dark. And it get dark like in two hours, so, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we leave one ground going to another ground, no cap, you feel me? So, we really finna go after market on y'all, you feel me? The Spider Boys, you feel me? No cap. We finna go in the house and unbox this because it's kind of cold outside. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I said the lights came yesterday, so I checked to make sure that it was good and everything. They straight. These bitches about look hard on this car, dog. So, without further ado, man, we'll get right into the video, man. But before we do, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. Please subscribe if that subscribe button. What the fuck? Why my gate open? I might just take it out the box, you feel me? So you open the box, you know, come closer, camera man, come closer, bitch. Man, you got a manual and shit, man. And man, man, they tell you what to do, man. You know, this is what we doing, so this is what black people do. Okay, the pitch, okay. Yeah, okay. That's what we do, we don't look at that shit for real, you know what I'm saying? Come pack is nice, you feel me? All right, man, so look, man, y'all see y'all, y'all see we got in the box, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, back the fuck back, nigga, damn. I say got this bullshit, man. Start it on the ground, man. Ain't got this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The mold and the shit. I say I, I do headlights. I do this shit. I do this shit for a living. So I know how to do this shit. So. Man, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. I'm a I know how to create this shit. Throw the light, man. We go ahead and pull it out. Nice packaging. You no, know, I ain't sponsored, but. You feel me? It is nice. It looks nice quality. You know what I'm saying? Come zoom, zoom in up on that. You know what I'm saying? Look, look very nice. Nice quality. Nice and heavy. Now, if you got a bracket, you know, I got to take this off. I see people take off this bracket and put it on the car, then put this on. So. Uh, everything plug and play. You feel me? Plug this up into your high beams. Plug this up to your low beam. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to change it. My fat. Yeah, we, ain't, we rocking the LEDs outside. Then these is for. The daytime running light right here. So, yeah, we green. Y'all yeah, see the light though. Y'all see how that bit look. That bit look amazing. And then, here got the other one, I'm saying, like, show me. We're gonna take that one out right now. Come on, bitch. I ain't gonna lie to this. This bit gonna look hard on the whip. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but we finna, um, I'm just gonna lead them in here. We about to go get started taking off that bumper on that car. Cause y'all take the whole freaking bumper off before you can put these lights on. So, we about to get to doing that before it get dark. Like, but what I'm to do, man, I'll catch y'all up the bumper. Alright, man, y'all. Oh, fuck, I ain't got my key, man. Part two. I'm gonna head, pop the hood. You no, know, we gotta move kinda fast, you know. Pop the hood, come over here. Let that be close. Boom. Fat ass hemi and shit, but, uh. We gotta take all these. How the fuck you get this out? What the fuck is that, man? I just put. Oh, that shit not even hooked up. The rest of these clips out. They say you gotta take some off in here. Maybe this. Something back down in there. What the fuck? Before get started, man. It's some, it's some bolts back here you gotta take off. I'll figure it out as I go. Y'all yeah, see the clip right here, man. Y'all yeah, see, I'll zoom in. I'm gonna do this one. You just grab the flathead, put it in between here, lift it up. I'll lift it up like this, boom, pop up like that. Then grab the hammer and the hammer like this. Do that, pull it up, they come right out. Now I see do that. Hit all of them. Oh shit. Be careful not to lose these motherfuckers. And now it's these little things that stuck in here. As y'all can see. So if we just go grab the flathead, and just, just lift, it's gonna come right out, you know. Lift for all of them, come right out easy. You know, put these, put these back in, these little things, so. I'm trying to do this up before it get dark. My camera acting stupid. Y'all see, man. I got this side off, man. This fucking screw that hook onto this dog up in here is a pain to ask to get to. It took me like 20 minutes to get that out. I mean, it's a bolt. It's right there. 
it's a 10 millimeter, but it was a pain in the ass to get to. Like, then it's only a pain in the ass when you ain't take off the tires. I'm not taking off the tires. That's, that's too much work. So it took me a while to get that junk off. I had to find out techniques to get it off, but got it off. As y'all can see, now I gotta do that side. Then the whole bumper come off. Then we get to changing the lights. Y'all see, man, it get dark too so, so freaking fast. I can't get no freaking content in. This shit is irritating. He, my brother came outside and I got it off. I was able to get it off way easier, but the bumper come right off. Nah. Oh, dirt. Oh, <clears throat> car crash and shit. <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> Damn. This bitch look ugly. Damn. I don't need to take my, uh, take, I do my fog lights good. My fog lights, my fog lights. Damn. Damn. That bitch ain't coming out. Bumper is off. These, whatever these was on here, just pull right out. Whatever fuck this shit is. Just pull that right out. Whatever this is, you know. Here go the bitch ass lights, you feel me? Is that, this the front, you know what I'm saying? The most you need to take off is this one, that one, and I think it might be something under. Then one under here, then it should come right off. Let me take these off, these side markers. It's one right here. Uh, one right in here, and it's one at the bottom. You ain't gotta, you'll see it because it's obvious there's only one. Your light come right out, so let me get taking this junk off and I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right, YouTube, so look, man, yeah, it look like a lot, but it's not after you get it out. You take the bolts out, you just unsnap everything. But you wanna keep this, this, it's gonna be, see, I got LED, it's like, the, this the blinker, this the blinker. But you want to keep this whole little harness, not saying don't throw it away or nothing. Just take it out the old light, and you gonna put it on your new light. But the thing is, the side marker, this the side marker, the little side marker thing right here. This that bulb. You're not gonna need this bulb no more because you gonna plug. This where you gonna plug up your um your daytime running light. So you're not gonna need this no more. You could take that bulb. Just take the bulb out. Don't take. Don't throw this away. Keep this. Alright YouTube, so I did run into one major, major ass problem, which was blinker right here, like the walls of the blinker up in there, y'all see it, like the grooves and everything, how, how this fit in, um, it wasn't big enough, so what I had to do is cut with, with a knife could fit you feel me but i finally got it to go in there so yeah that's one major problem that i had with one of the lights so far you feel me you know the nut everything goes fit straight in you know thing is i don't know how people really put them on because i'm not cut usually they they said something about you cutting your bumper which i ain't fun to do all that you feel me so i'm gonna have to take the the light out the little housing or whatever take it out the the uh bracket y'all see the bracket right here and then put the light up in there because i'm not gonna do all the extra junk you feel me early and tomorrow it's gonna be raining and snowing so i'm not doing it tomorrow so i have to do it today so it gotta get done today so that's what i'm about gonna do right now and now as y'all know y'all remember no site you know what i'm saying I had some extra ones, so I'm about to just change them out, you know what I'm saying? Put the brand new ones in, the new ones, you know what I'm saying? They fit perfectly. So if y'all want a discount, go to my video of me unboxing the LED lights, you know? It's on my channel. And y'all get y'all some good quality. Are right, you two, just the new versus the old, you feel me? I just wanted to bring it in the house to get y'all a comparison, but this is the side marker, so. This ugly ass light, you feel me? Still got tape on it from when it got painted. You know, good thing with this new light is I don't have to take off my whole bumper to take out my headlight if I need to change something. Cause I, it's it got a separate bracket. Other than this one, this one got, it's like on, on the headlight, y'all see it? And that's separate. If y'all got a car like me, y'all will know that y'all see videos, they talking about, oh yeah, cut your bumper. I'm not doing that. I'm not cutting my bumper. I ain't got time for that extra junk, you feel me? No cap, so we get around stuff. Yeah, man, so I'm about to um, take off this bracket and everything and make sure I'm about to take off this bracket and they're going to put that on the car and then make sure that my turn signal thing can fit up in there or we got to do, do the light like the last one. Hopefully it, it can fit up in there because I don't like cutting. Here go my aftermarket side markers. I know y'all look confusing, but it's not as confusing as y'all might think it is. The light 
it's actually plug and play. Like they they ain't lie about that. The light is actually plug and play. Uh, unfortunately, we had to do the same thing we did to the other side. Just see little bitty plastic pieces. You know what I'm saying? Nas in there fit, you know what I'm saying, perfectly, you know, had had to do that CMB modification, you know, turn, I could pull it out, it's going to be kind of hard to pull out, but you turn it that way, and then pull out, but push it in, turn, it's locked in, you feel me, so. After hours of working on this car, I finally got it done, you feel me, and I installed some new headlights, too, so, y'all ready? Let me go ahead and crank it down for y'all, feel me? There we go. I'ma let y'all know everything I went through and everything. Everything, I'ma let y'all know everything prior to tomorrow because freaking feet about to fall off, I'm cold, you feel me? And the charger looking mean. That boy looking mean, dog. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Those two problems I ran into, which I'm, I'm gonna explain clearly tomorrow. Yeah, man, that's the, them the lights, man. Get some more footage, though, no cap. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. With these light, these headlights or the LEDs, like, I don't know. It just, I could see way farther and way more. Like, these lights are some good quality headlights because I could even see farther with uh, no sight. Um, LED lights. You know? So if y'all want something, make sure y'all go to that video. Cause I'm telling y'all, look how look how far I can see all them down. Look at this shit. I'm gonna need some new headlights or something. Cause this shit look crazy. But all right, CNB gang, grabbing to the camera late. I ain't gonna lie, your boy a little frustrated. You feel me? Cause it's a goddamn car. Y'all, y'all gonna see what's going on with the whip. In the next video, you can y'all go see what's going on. What I'm trying to do right now. It's getting dark, but I got my cameras on the good setting, so it makes it sound like it's light outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little frustrated because I ain't like, you know what I'm saying? It was time consuming. I wanted to have everything and all this ready before I got to the crib. You feel me? Y'all know I'm playing that good old music. Hold on, let me go. Y'all hear that bitch singing right here, too? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I hear that bitch, though. I'm gonna talk about talk with these lights, you feel me? Right now, I got them on Hellcat scat mode and shit, you know what I'm saying? I got them on Hellcat scat mode. You go, I can look at them real quick. There we go, hell yeah. Hellcat scat mode and shit, y'all see that? Hell yeah, you feel me? Look at that shit, that shit look crazy. Ooh, that shit look hard. That would just make the car look 10 times better, you feel me? We about to get to the LEDs, you feel me? Look, look at that boy. Huh. Boom, bright LEDs. Now, see, camera don't even do the justice, but clear quality, all that, man. Y'all see it. They're a little dirty and everything, because I've been driving with them. And the snow, as y'all see, is about to start snowing again. I'm going to bag it in the garage. But, man, y'all just have to, I'm going to talk to y'all about these lights and what I went through. You know what I'm saying? to get them, get them in here. I said a little bit, but I wasn't really clear. So we're gonna do it outside the car. Oh, and everything. So hopefully the car ain't too loud, but I'm gonna tell y'all what I went through to get these in. It's cold outside, I brought a little chair to sit down just to tell y'all what I did to put this and that on the car. So what you wanna do is when you put these on, make sure that you take off the bracket that comes with the light. You will see what I'm talking about. It's a little bracket that hooks on to your headlights go. Um, make sure you take that off because if you don't, you have a tough time or you have to cut the side of the bumper. We don't want to do that. You know? So you ain't gotta, y'all know what I was talking about, the little side markers. You got to cut the side of the bumper, you cut the little, you gotta cut that shit off. You gonna have to if you don't do it the way I did. So once you take off the bracket, you know what I'm saying, you put the light in separate. You know? So you hook up the bracket to the, the car, the frame of the car, whatever. And then once you get ready, Put the lights in. Also, you can plug them up first or afterwards. It don't matter. I'm saying you can just put it in through the front of the bumper while the bumper is on. Do that. Do not put it on when the bumper is off because you will run into complications like I did. You feel me? No cap. That stuff was not sweet. You feel me? I know I see the stars and that shit look hard though. But yeah, man. I don't know. It's like it's focused on me, but oh well. That's one thing 
I, I ran into, but that was on YouTube regardless. Another thing I ran into is um, my blinkers, which I'm, I'll show y'all if y'all want me to, I'll show y'all real quick. All right, the blinkers, that was another thing. As y'all know, I have aftermarket blinkers. Y'all see it's LED, it's look like the rest of it. It's LED. So the blinker, the little part that the blinker goes into, y'all know how y'all put the headlight bulb in? That part, I had to shave off some of the plastic so I could be able to put that in there because it wasn't it wasn't big enough, basically. It wasn't as much plastic. I just got a little knife. Lucky, lucky enough, the plastic is not that hard to cut. Grab a little knife and I'll just make my own modification so the blinker on each side could go in the light. You feel me? But other than that, man, to make sure you put the the light in through the front of the bumper while the bumper is on. And some some of y'all might have to shave the little part that the blinker go in. Like y'all see the little circular part that the breaker go in. Other than that, man, life was easy. It was it was plug and play. Everything was plug and play. And I said everything is I said common sense of where it go. You know what I'm saying I might not give y'all driving footage in this video, but y'all probably really ain't gonna see because the light's so bright and the camera can't really take it. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I had to put on change my camera settings just so y'all could see how it look. Let me turn off the blinker. Alright, this would this would look like when the fog lights off, you feel me? I don't ever ride with my fog lights off, you feel me? I ride with them on all the time, so I'll never be riding like this, but that's just still the car. So let's go slap these fog lights on though. Yeah man, that's the um the new mod, you feel me? Hey, I, I wish I would have did it earlier, make my car look way newer, way better, all that. I love it, you feel me? I love it. I do not regret doing it at all. And everybody was talking about the gap of the lights. This, these lights do not leave. If if you buy the lights after November, like 15th, 16th, whatever, 2021, if you buy the lights after that time, my nigga, these bitches don't have gaps, my nigga. Like, bro, I'm about to show y'all. Ain't no gaps in these. Ain't no gaps in these headlights, bro. They literally look like, like the factory. Like, y'all see it, man. I had to change my camera settings, but as y'all see, man, the gaps, it's really not big gaps in there. It look like the factory, like, like this, that's really not even a gap. It's black from the light, you feel me? That's not even a gap. Y'all see the black part going around it? It's not a gap. Ooh, look over here. It is a little gap down here just because how my bumper was cut, but that don't have nothing to do with this light. There's no gaps around this light at all like that. Like, it's a little, little gap on here, I ain't gonna lie. But not really. Cause the light gotta be able to get up in there, you feel me? So there ain't really gaps in the light. So look at it, man. Them bitches look hard, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Make sure y'all go upgrade to these lights, bro. Make my whole car look harder. This is really the Hellcat, Hellcat version of this car and shit. Nah, shit. Hellcat version. Let me know in the comment section below, y'all. Y'all fuck with the new lights or whatever, or whatnot. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I had to explain to y'all what y'all had to go through because I feel like I didn't explain it well enough. Stay tuned for my next video because I ain't gonna lie, this shit gonna give me a damn headache, but I anyway, y'all just gotta stay tuned for the next video. Y'all see, y'all probably see me wearing the same shit in the next video. That's because I recorded the clip today, the same day that I recorded these clips, so don't try to get me on the comments and shit talking. Oh, this nigga don't change, this nigga dirty as hell. And like, I, really, I really beat your ass. Last one look at the lights, you feel me? And y'all know. Man, hope y'all liked the video, man. We will have more mods coming for the car, most definitely. So y'all stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for my next video, cause about to be bad, you feel me? It's about to be bad. I go and see that. Y'all gonna be wondering what the fuck going on. If y'all wanna know what the fuck going on, just watch that video. And yeah, man, appreciate all the love support, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and of course, man, like always, we're gonna be back with more bangers. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Gang.